Our regular programming will not be seen this morning, so the National Broadcasting Company can kick off the holiday season live from New York City with our telecast of the spectacular 68th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. the parade starting line, here's America's favorite weatherman, Willard Scott. Oh, what a legend. Don Porto, hey, 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 hey. Hello, America. How great it is to go to the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade start line. Whoa, let's hear it. All right, We've got stars, all sorts of excitement, and that's just on the ground. Once you see what's up in the air, you won't believe it. Fabulous balloons, only the best in the business. This is our 68th parade, and I promise, Willard, it's going to be bigger and better than ever. And we're only 20 years old, so you can imagine how excited we are. And I just, uh, maybe you're wondering who this fantastic lady is. She's been fed as head of the whole works. She's been producing these parades since... Uh, <laughs> a while back. A while but back. You know, the best part, you're going to walk the whole two-and-a-half-mile route with me today. You ready? <laughs> yeah? I said, my knees hold that, you got me, because I look forward to it. You're going to love the people. They're the best part of the entire route, the whole way down, the kids. I mean, we worked all year for this moment, just like Santa Zales, and we're ready to go. It's a spectacular show. It is fantastic. The people, the balloons, the parade, the festival, it's the best of the business. And I mean, the show is just about to begin. Before we commence with festivities, though, our ribbon cutting is in order. So if you would please hand me the knife, I think it's time for us to do our thing here, right? All right, this is it. Okay, here right. it is. This is the fabulous turkey, turkey knife. knife. And I will officially cut the ribbon. And is Katie ready downstairs? Is Katie good? I sure am, Willard. Are you down there, Katie? I am. I'm down here, Willard and Jean, and I can't wait for you to get down here and see all the magic Macy's has cooked up this year. We're here at Herald Square. We have the best Broadway musicals around. Beauty and the Beast, Grease, Damn Yankees, and Showboat, plus the Radio City Music Hall, Rockettes, and tons of stars. Willard, kids of all ages, including you and me, are going to be amazed. Okay, we're on we our way. Here, sir. I'm ready. Let's go. Are you ready? The Stand by. It's about okay. to begin. Okay. Oh! the direction of John Jacobson, 350 of the best singers from high school choirs around the country. When they're not singing, these kids are helping the homeless in their community. Listen as they celebrate America in song. Celebrate America, the 
City, the National Broadcasting Company presents its annual telecast of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. With your host, from the Today Show, America's favorites, Katie Couric and Willard Scott. Featuring the best of Broadway in song and dance, up marching bands, giant balloons of your favorite characters, incredible floats and stars galore. National treasures, Bob and Dolores Hope. Recording stars, Natalie Cole, Eddie G, Judy Collins, and country singer, Betsy. From Broadway, the cast of Disney's Beauty and the Beast, Elbo, Grief, and Dan Yankee. From television, Blossom's Teen Dream, Joey Lawrence, Liz Corey from the John Larroquette Show, and Terry Lewis and Ron John. From stage and screen, Brooke Shields, Dorothy Lamore, and Connie Stevens and her daughter, Trisha Lee Fisher. And from the hit series, Ellen Jolie Fisher. Middle America 1995, Emma Whitestone. Olympic gold medalist, Jackie Joyner Percy. A precision dancing of Radio City Music Hall's high-kicking Rockhead. Plus, your favorite character balloons, including Snoopy, Garfield, Spider-Man, and the debut of the all-new Adam Mahan and Barney Balloon. From Sesame Street on their own brand-new float, Big Bird, Joey, Elmo, and Friends. Special appearances by film star comedian Rosie O'Donnell, TV favorite Tom Bosley, late night host Conan O'Brien, and diet and fitness guru Richard Simmons. And our fantastic holiday finale, featuring the arrival of the big man himself, all the way from the North Pole, Santa Claus. NBC's telecast of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is sponsored in part by Wendy. After 25 years, quality is still our recipe. And by Olympus, never miss another old. And by Cotton Incorporated for America's cotton producers. Cotton, the fabric of our lives. Stay tuned for continuous coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Central Park West, you wouldn't believe the size of this crowd, Katie. I don't think there's been a crowd this big in the city since BJ Day. Hey, Willer, thank you for that perfect segue to introduce America's favorite song and dance band of that era and always. Bob Hope has entertained America's servicemen and women for nearly six decades. Joining him today is his beautiful wife, Dolores. Bob and Dolores have created a musical memory lane of his USO tours with their CD, Bob Hope Remembers. We're thrilled to welcome them to our parade family. Okay. By going to Europe on a boat. Did you not? Did you perform for people on the yeah. ship? Yeah. Well, uh, in Normandy, a procedure. Did you see any of the folks uh, on the boat that you'd seen back in World War II? Uh, well, I wasn't there where he was there. <laughs> <laughs> too young. I'm too young. Is she lying to me? How long have you been married? Sixty. But he's only been home three weeks, he said. So. That's, you think that's a secret to a healthy marriage? <laughs> that's not a bad idea, is it? If you see each other three weeks out of 60 years. That does it. I, and you, you both got a new record out, right? You see, yeah, A lot of fun. We did a Christmas record, and then we did this big video and record and everything for uh, World War II. Right. Bob Hope Remembers. That's a World War II retrospective. Yeah, Bob Hope Remembers. What, what's uh, your favorite part of the tape? Well, you got, you got to play this thing to get a kick out. I can't, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of it, because you remember most of it, you know? Right, so little bits in here. Well, you well, know. No, we do have a new song now, Try to Remember. That's our new... <laughs> that's, a, that's a song of my life. Theme song. I don't even know where I am half the time. Anyway, <laughs> everybody in the whole world loves you. I mean, not just the United States, but the whole world. I consider it a highlight of my career to be here with you this morning. And I was Santa Claus on your TV well, show. We're, we're we're to see you. Too. What are you, wonderful to see you. I tell you. We were talking about you. We knew you'd be here. It's great. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. We'll be together another 100 years from now. I'm doing it. All right. I'm ready. You and me. All right. I can thanks for the memory. I hope family's the best. And now here's all the rest. I guess we 
we go back to uh, the studio or whatever. <laughs> to back me, on the Willard, street. to me, stick with your day job, Willard. I've got a fun fact to know and tell for you folks at home. Did you know the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade donated the balloons to the war effort during World War II? The balloons were used to make tires for the military. How about that? All right. I got my spare tire right here, Katie. And back in those days, everybody pitched in and helped. I understand you have somebody special up in the booth, too. I sure do, Willard. He's a great guy to make your Thanksgiving a happy day. He's Tom Bosley. He's currently on Broadway playing the role of Belle's father in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. You must be having a great time being oh, in that I'm show. Oh, having a wonderful time. And, uh, in fact, everybody in the show is having a wonderful time. I want you to know I brought my little girl to see Beauty and the Beast a few months ago. And I wasn't in the show then. We were so disappointed, but you were undergoing surgery, but you're feeling I fine now? I known I'd have come right out of the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do a terrific job, and, you. and you're going to be taking the show on the road? I'm gonna, well, not on the road. We're going to have a production in uh, California, Los Angeles, at the Schubert Theater, starting in March. And uh, I have two more weeks to go here, and I'm going to go home and rest, and then get ready for that. We'll have a great time in Los Angeles, Thanks, Tom. Kate. It's fantastic to see you. Thanks. Anyway, we want, wanted to say that the show is opening in Los Angeles, as Tom just mentioned, but lucky for us, Belle and the Villagers have come from Broadway's Palace Theater to perform the opening number, Belle, right here in Herald Square. Belle is a fabulous role model for kids. She loves to read, she stands up for herself, and she doesn't let that male chauvinist pig Gaston push her around. <laughs>
Time covers the parade route, and Katie brings you Broadway shows from Herald Square. Next up, the cast of the smash hit Reef, starring Brooke Shields as Rizzo. in the world. It's only the greatest day in the world in New York City. And I thought you folks might uh, have a little fun on a taxi ride. A little trip, because a couple of days ago we took a cab ride on the parade route. It's a two and a half mile run, you know, from the start line all the way down to Herald Square. So if you'll just hop on board, children. Check it out. Here we go. The parade kicks off at 77th at Central Park West. And this is our cab driver, Odysseus Carianus. Hit it, Odysseus, on your left, Central Park. On your right, where all the rich folks live. And they can practically touch the balloon from their rooftop. On down for a quick jog around Columbus Circle. And then we head right on down Broadway. A little pothole there. Glad I didn't have coffee. You know, this parade route takes a lot out of a guy. Do you mind pulling over here for... Thank you, Odysseus. Ah, he's a nice man. And look what he's got. Some coffee and some donuts. Oh, boy. What a treat. Thank you. Well, let's move right on down, because here we go, zooming into the great White Way, the theater district, and the home of Broadway shows like Les Miserables, Phantom of the Opera, Miss Saigon, and of course, Dan Yankees making a great comeback. Past Times Square, down the home stretch that takes us right up to our spot, Herald Square. <laughs> what a care ride. Rosie. Willard. You are my posy. Oh, speak to me. Rosie, my posy, sweet. Rosie O'Donnell, the greatest name in show business. Have you ever been in this parade before? I have never been in it. I've been to the parade, but I haven't had such good seats. Thank you, Willard. <laughs> you do a guest shot on the show, we give you interest exactly, in Exactly, and that's well worth it. And a six-pack of GE light bulbs. That's all you can ask for. How did you enjoy working in Greece? Was that a ball? Oh, I loved it. I had a great time. The New York audiences were something else, and uh, they still going strong with Brooke Shields in the lead, who's just and doing a phenomenal job. What, and you are a native. You uh, live on Long Island. Were, were you born on Long Island or yeah. football? I was born on Long Island. Can you hear it from the way I talk? Right. I like it. That's part of the accent that makes the thing play. Did you ever uh, uh, march in a band, or did you play in a band? Uh, we, I did play in a band, but we never were good enough to make it to the parade. But you finally got here today. I may just grab a clarinet and start marching. You never know, Willard. Well, you're the great. You are truly in a league on your own. Oh, well, thank you, doll. Can we do our closing number? Ready? Ready. Friendship. Friendship. Start to perfect. Friendship. Well, I'll do friendship to soon for God. Boom. Katie, yeah. you've got a chance. Willard, Willard and Rosie, very well done. And what a perfect, perfect warm-up for our next act. This show is, of course, touring all around the country. We're ready to rock and roll. Here's Brooke Shields and the cast of Broadway's hit, Grease.
Tennessee continues its live coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with more excitement, floats and balloons, and the hit Broadway musical, Damn Yankees. It's only the greatest that's all for 68 years. It's been that way, and nobody works harder than the handlers of these balloons. The wind is just about right, a little bit brisk, but they are doing a job. Parade is coming down the street with all of its splendor, having a ball, couldn't have a better time, couldn't have a better day. And let me tell you something, the greatest stars of this parade always turns out to be the vans. I mean, the floats are spectacular, but these kids work their hearts out and their spats off to get here, you know? They don't just come in here by some miracle, magic trick of waving a wand. On. They have to earn their way here, and it costs an awful lot of money. And I want you to hear and check a look at something that's happened with one of these bands right now, and how they made enough money, and how they got here. This is the Deer Valley High School Band, and what it took to get them here to New York, and they are having a ball. Check it out, and roll the videotape. Got some great news, people. Got some great, exciting news. We um, received a letter yesterday from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade people, and we have been invited to go to New York and perform in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We're going to New York, people. We're going to New York. With airfare, hotels, and meals, we figured it was about $650 per person, which comes to over $100,000 that we needed to raise. We knew we had a lot of work to do. Hi. Hi, I'm with the Deer Valley High School Marching Band. We're going to the Mesa Parade in New York City. We need to raise over $100,000. They sold by phone, they went door to door, we even went into office buildings and sold to small businesses. What the band is doing is trying to raise money by selling wrapping paper. We're also selling recipe books. We have coffee marks. Magazines. Tupperware. Key rings. We want to buy a teddy bear. Cheese and sausage. We did everything to raise money. You name it, we did it. <laughs> this is our official athon sheet. And what we do is we fill it in up here with what, kind, what type of athon you're doing. Such as our first one was the dog thon. We filled it in as the dog thon, and you get your sponsors. The people who did it made a lot of money. They did really well. The second, we did a bull thon, which is the same thing. You just put your sponsor names there and everything and your pledges, and then you bowl. Not only did we have to raise that amount of money, but we also had to get through our rehearsals. And sometimes we would start at 5.45 in the morning and end up at 10 o'clock at night. But we did it. We raised that money. <laughs> hey, excuse me. We're looking up here. What do you think? You think they're going to make it? Donald is. Ronald McDonald. You know, that was my first job as a clown. I was Ronald McDonald. They couldn't find enough helium to blow me up. Oh, wow. The greatest thing I ever did, I worked with Kermit the Frog when he first went on the air. Wow. He, that was 40 years ago. Listen, nothing personal. We're not ignoring you, sir. You're the star of the show. No, You're... not at all. All of, all of them are. His honor himself, Rudy Giuliani, the greatest mayor in the greatest city in the world <laughs> at the greatest time. Madonna, good morning. Hi, Willard. Happy Thanksgiving. Who was the princess in the family? Well, Me. <laughs> glad to be. What's your favorite balloon? Um, Santa. And why? Because he's happy. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I like that, too. And we have, of course, the Donut Man this year. You remember Fred the, ba the Baker? Oh, the Donut Man. <laughs> yeah, the Donut Man. Mayor, if you, uh, you being a native New Yorker, obviously this parade is part of your life. I, I came to this parade when I was their age, and uh, I grew up with this parade. It's just wonderful. 68 years, a definite New York tradition. Strong people from all over the country and all over the world here. People have come up to me from uh, Europe, South Carolina, Texas, to say hello to me. I'll bet you people have called the office and you thought something big might was going to transpire. And what they really wanted was tickets to the parade, and we got plenty of them. For the mayors from different parts of the country, it's just great. And the holiday season, yeah. come to New York and enjoy it. Always, the, and this time of the year, I'd say the police volunteer, the NBC camera crews, everybody wants to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, Did you ever great. march in it? Besides never marched in it. Politics. Watched it many times, but yeah. never marched First in it. All right. Well, I do a lot of parades, though. That's right. Well, that's, that's right. With politicians and crowds, right? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. right. Never met a crowd you didn't like. You have to. All right. And, and the people today Happy, are just wonderful. Happy Thanksgiving. He uses up a lot of shoe leather that way. I I guess, you all are beautiful. Thank you. God Happy bless. Thanksgiving to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Katie, I just said you have a really big apple treat in the store for us. I sure do, Will. You tell Andrew he's not allowed to yawn. The boys of summer are singing and dancing. Baseball, America's favorite pastime, is the backdrop for the smash, smash hit musical Damn Yankees. The team's excited because a new recruit is joining their ranks to turn their losing streak around. Notice the lady in the locker room. She was ahead of her time.
Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues in all its splendor with the cast of Showboat, Fitness Guru Richard Simmons, and Balloon Galore. in business and how sweet it is. Still up here in Central Park West, I'm wending my way down to be with my favorite host of the morning, Kitty Couric, who's down there at Herald Square. Everybody has a ball with this parade. It is only the greatest parade in America since 1924. And again, the people that participate, the police, the people in New York, this is their baby. And of course, it kicks off that beautiful holiday season. The city never looked lovelier than three at 30 Rock. Check it all out. And now I want you to meet one of the great sex symbols of America, a man who needs no introduction, a guru of diet, a treater of holidays, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Simmons. Oh! Hi, Willard. How are you doing? I cannot. Hi, everybody. I don't believe it. I've heard of losing your pants, but your whatever your shirt. Well, this is this is my uniform. This is all I wear, and I really want to see this parade. I've never been to this parade before. You've got a tray full of goodies. Would you oh, like to tell us oh, sure. These, these are my cookies. These are my new fat-free cookies from Walmart, and I brought them over so that everyone could have a little treat. It's, it's fat-free. Taste one of them. Like a big new. They're like a new. They're fruit. There's vegetable. There's a. Uh, there's a uh, look. The cream ones with the apple and the devil's food. 
food and they're fat free and they taste good. And they're wonderful. And you never stop. Where do you get plugged in? What kind of energy source? Do you well, I did my exercises this morning and I was really looking forward to coming to the Big Apple to see this. I mean, I've never seen this before. It's so exciting. And then tonight I get to do David Letterman. Holy mackerel. I was on his show two weeks ago. You were on David's show? Get the money up front. Up front. <laughs> so everyone can watch me tonight on David Letterman. Hi! Hey, what's your favorite Thanksgiving memory? My favorite Thanksgiving memory is going, as I will today, uh, after I finish here, I will go see some people who were in hospitals, and I will serve some, you know, some uh, Thanksgiving dinners and make people laugh and feel good about themselves. You know, I think that's the secret. We love this man so much, and he's got such a big heart, and I mean that. Everybody loves you. You're fun, you're energetic, and you did lose weight and keep it off, and everybody likes you for that, too. Thank you. And Katie Kerr is watching you right now. Hi, Katie! Whoa, thank you for that introduction. Willard, I understand Richard Simmons is actually going to toss his cookies along the parade route. To the spectators, that is. Anyway, we've got a Broadway pot of deux on the roof of the Mar Marriott Marquis Hotel. Here's only make-believe from the Broadway hit Showboat. behind-the-scenes look at how much helium it takes to inflate Garfield. And Barney performs live as the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues on NBC. While my good friend Willard makes his way down the parade route to join me here at Herald Square, let's join Conan O'Brien for a behind-the-scenes look at the balloon inflation that took place last night on Central Park West. I'm here at the inflation.
inflating of the balloons for the annual Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. And I'm here because, well, frankly, I've been on the air now a year and a half. And I think it's high time that I was represented in the annual parade. Oh, you think he's good? Don't you think kids would love that better than Beethoven, right? Beethoven's no good, is he? Huh? There's no competition. What do you think of the Conan head being part of the Macy's Day Parade? Don't you think that's a great idea? Uh, he has to move on. What do you mean? Well, he has to move on. There's no block on the sidewalk. Mr. Mayor, uh, I think I've been on the air for a year and a half now, and I think a giant head of me should be represented in the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. <laughs> what do you think? It's right over there. What do you think? Do you like it? Give me your... Can we, get, can we blow it up a little more? Can we get it up high? You don't think my head is fat enough? What do you think, Andrew? Would you like this better than Underdog? What's well, Underdog? Thank you very much. <laughs> Look, you know, maybe next year. A year's a long time. It'll be all right. I mean... That's right, Conan. Maybe next year. And thank you for that exclusive on balloon inflation. The character balloons are an important element of the parade. They made their first appearance back in 1927. At the conclusion of today's parade, the balloons will be deflated and stored in the Macy's warehouse. But in the early years, when the parade was over, the balloons were actually released into the sky where they exploded. So much for recycling. It's time for Barney. Yes, everybody, America's beloved purple dino. He's super de duper Kids everywhere love Barney, and he loves them right back. Barney will rock out with Macy's Be A Star Kids. Let's join Barbie, Barney, not Barbie, and his pal Baby Bop and BJ for the song, If You're Happy and You Know It. Hey, everyone. I'm so glad to be here in New York City. And I brought some friends with me today. Hi, Barney. Hi, Barney. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi, DJ. Hi, Baby Bob. <laughs> oh, Barney, I know what's going to make you happy. <laughs> what's that, Baby Bob? Seeing your big balloon in the parade. Oh, boy, boy, oh, boy. I can't wait. Oh, hey, why don't we all sing a song together? Yeah. What do you want to sing? Well, being here in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade makes me so happy. So, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, now stab your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stab your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stab your feet. That's it. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show up. If you're happy and you know it, stab your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, you are free. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, you are free. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, you are free. for the precision dancing of the Radio City Music Hall Rockettes and the top marching bands from across the nation when we return from these messages. Yes, only in America. We saw him singing and dancing here at Herald Square just moments ago, and now he cannot keep his feet on the ground. That, of course, is everybody's favorite dinosaur, Barney waving to the crowds here at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. You know, when I think of New York City, I think of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, of course, Rockefeller Center, Egg Creams, and America's favorite precision dance troupe, the Radio City Music Hall Rockettes. Glamour, elegance, and legs for days. Here they are.
The spectacular extravaganza in the air and on the ground at Herald Square in New York City as the nation's Thanksgiving Day Parade arrives at its fantastic destination.
I'm getting in the mood. Take a look, folks. Here's Sonic, the hedgehog. I just saw him on the 72nd Street, 77th and 72nd. Sponsored by Seagull America. Flies above us right now at 64 feet tall and 26 feet wide. Check out. Check out, my friend. Ooh, baby, baby. He's a super hog with massive size, 21 feet. You know something? I bet he could flatten a cement mixer with one dainty little step. Hey, Willard, don't tempt him. <laughs> you know, kids love old Sonic because he's the hippest and coolest thing around. He's very determined. Look at his nose. I like him. He's got a cute do, sort of a punk-looking hedgehog, isn't he? But then again, I guess I think, my hedgehogs uh, are punk. Look, there's a shot. I think he likes it. Mikey likes it. Isn't that great? He ran into some trouble last year because the winds were so high, but we're glad to see he's doing well this year. Willard, the lady in the harbor joins two of our favorite Americans. We're very proud to welcome to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, Bob and Dolores Hope. They're on the Statue of Liberty float, sponsored by GMC Truck, the dynamic duo. Keep the torch of liberty lit with a classic selection of holiday songs celebrated on Bob and Dolores Hope's new TV, Hooks for the Holidays. Bob has an all-new Christmas special on NBC December 14th. You won't want to miss his dose of holiday cheer. Have you heard any of the CD? It's fantastic, it, and Dolores and has a dynamite she, voice. She is fabulous. She used to sing years ago. In fact, they had a song they recorded many, many years ago, back in the 30s. Hey, here's a salute to those folks, too, who sailed on the Mayflower, that marvelous adventure that left Plymouth, England, and brought the pilgrim men and women over, taking their first Thanksgiving celebration seriously. And I mean to tell you, heard about that? Right through the grapevine. You should check it out. I mean, they're still here. You know, when I was a kid, I actually helped make one of these Birch Park canoes. I saw this one close up on 77th Street, too. And see our little friends in here, all representing the Native Americans? And this is uh, uh, just a part of our American heritage. Of course, there would have been no Thanksgiving had the Indians not befriended the pilgrims that helped this celebration get underway back in Plymouth, or in uh, New Hampshire, and uh, Maine, and Massachusetts, and New England. I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> Plymouth Manfred Bass, head of Macy's design team, researched the symbols of the North North American Indian nations at the time of the Pilgrim's Landing and incorpor incorporated them into this spectacular design. Hey, it's a splendid example of American folk art. You're looking at it right here on NBC on the Macy's Parade. Coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues on NBC with Beethoven, Sherry Lewis, and Lanshop, and more of your favorite stars. NBC's telecast of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is sponsored in part by Polaroid Captiva. Pictures stay in until you take them out. And by MasterCard. MasterCard is more than a credit card. It's smart money. Hey, that... Yes, that's indeed, my, Willard. That's my legend. You know, when I grew up, I'm going to be just like Don Pardo. I know. Doesn't he have a great voice? We, we've really hit the big time with Pardo. Katie, this parade is a genuine dazzler this sure year. sure is, Willard. You know, you aren't the only guy in town with a large hat size. Thank you. Say hello to Quick Bunny. <laughs> this fuzzy little fella keeps time as he marks his way down Broadway. And Nestle's, my favorite chocolate drink, has furnished the Quick Bunny with a beat. Quick Bunny stands as high as two Olympic-sized swimming pools, if you can believe that, Willard. His ears are 19 feet long, and his hat is two stories tall. Thank you. How about that drum? It is so big, they can hear it in Texas, buddy. And this Quick Bunny's seventh appearance in the parade, and he loves it. Folks, the kids from Deer Valley have arrived, too, all the way from Glendale, Arizona. And I'll bet they wish they were back in Glendale, Arizona. <laughs> Say hello to the Deer Valley High School Marching Skyhawks in the direction of Scott Sousa.
so much. La 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 la, the turkey's here. The turkey float is celebrating its 22nd appearance in the Macy's Parade, and it's furnished by... Let me guess, yes, the yes. Butterball Turkey Company. You got it, kid. And with him is one of my favorite people, the multi-talented Sherry Lewis, and her fuzzy little friend, Lamb Chop and Charlie Horse, and they're going to have their own Broadway show in a couple of weeks. Don't just sit there, sing. Everyone, now our song's begun, and I hope that I can count on you. So don't hesitate to participate. There's a lot for all of you to do. If you hear a song and you sing along, then the song sounds twice as sweet. Now try clapping too, cause it's fun to do. Without you, this song isn't complete. And join in the fun Don't just sit there Since you're getting the knack Pat yourself on the back Now the time has come For you to be a drum And you can do it from your feet Make believe your lap Is a drum and tap You'll be in for quite a treat Do it once again It's so easy when you just listen to the happy feet. And now one more time, be a drum while I'm keeping rhythm on my feet. Don't just sit there. I know that you know the words. Sing along. Don't just sit there. Keep participating, celebrating. Everyone let She is amazing. Doesn't she look fantastic? Yeah, she's really. like the ever-ready bunny, isn't yeah. she? She keeps going and going and going. That's she's incredible. You heard me say she's got her own show on Broadway, I think, December the 6th. Yeah, well, we'll have, to, yeah. we'll have to try that one out, too. I'm available if you say yes. <laughs> we'll hear from the Silver Screen Universal City Studios, proudly sponsors Beethoven, the 450-pound St. Bernard, who captured the hearts of kids everywhere. Hey, did you know that he's the only balloon based on a real-life creature, an actual dog. Well, the details of his design, no details, get that? The details of his design, including his fur, are realistic. Beethoven's a genuine flying sculpture. The Macy's team has attached long leashes to his 30-foot collar. Hmm, did I mention the line about him looking for a giant fire plug last year? Yeah, I think you did I, last I, I year. I yes, that Willard. this year. Anyway. Oh, thank you for sparing us. Okay. <laughs> you never lose a dog in this crowd, Katie. Realistic, doesn't he? Oh, he's terrific. Yeah, he's great. The dazzling Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues on NBC after these messages. Coming up, Kenny G, Kermit, Miss Piggy, bands, floats, and more surprises. like we got something cooking for the kids. Watch the formation for your special birthday message or your special holiday treats, as we used to say on radio. You'll learn a lot from the Macy's Clown School. That's no joke, Willard. You know the clowns attend school the second Saturday in November to practice their antics for the parade. And these are my bees, too. I love them. I give them all straight A's for their effort. Hey, look, Katie, there's a spelling bee right behind them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Willie, we're going to continue our trip through the animal kingdom with the always popular mother duck resplendent this morning with flowers. And the early birds didn't catch the classic wiggle worm, so he's making friends with mother duck. That's a good idea. Smart worm. Smart business advice. Macy's 1994 holiday ambassador, Kermit the Frog, his 40th birthday in the grand spirited style of a Muppet Christmas Carol. And joining our favorite frog is the really big star that delightful musical classic, the incomparable Miss Piggy, provided by Henson Associates. Ah, as they're called, this sweetheart couple are here to wish you and yours 
Juan, and Boo. Happy <laughs> holiday season. And that's a pretty little girl. It may, not easy be, it may not be easy being Green Willard, but Kermit has long been a favorite in Macy's Parade. And as you can tell by the expression on this little child's face. <laughs> she said, hi, Katie. <laughs> and I can guess just what Miss Piggy has on her holiday wish list. That's the amorous amphibian Kermit and a crate of mistletoe. Absolutely. Did, this nice, did you see this album? This is the, this Kenny G album. Oh, yeah. And he's going to be here a little yep. bit later on. Here's the first balloon of today's parade. A balloon is a Macy's original invention, combining floats and balloons. But you knew that. You were at rehearsal. <laughs> That's right, Willard. Humpty Dumpty and his nursery rhyme friends bring us sleepy kids led by the musical Pied Piper Kenny G himself, the dreamy entertainer who crossed over from jazz to pop to become the number one instrumentalist of all time. Kenny G serenades us from his new CD, giving us a holiday hint of things to come. You think that's why they handed me this CD? Hmm. I think you got it. Great. Like Tony the Tiger. Just the best. I'll tell you, there's nothing like a marching band that can really get your heart started. Defiance, Ohio, happens to be my favorite. Hey, Kenny. Man, Kenny's yelling to both of us. Hey, Kenny. How you doing? Nicely done. For more greatness, you check out this band, the high school marching band of class from Defiance, Ohio, under the direction of Vince Holtz. Check it out. Originally, I believe, from Russia, but uh, a New Yorker all the way. This pooch is on the loose, Katie. The Macy's costume team has designed some really extraordinary costumes for this dog day afternoon. It's an homage to the great Snoopy, who's flying in even as I speak. Here and Willard, something is cracking Snoopy up. 
Could it be Woodstock's triple axle? United uh, Media sponsors these annual crowd pleasers, in case you didn't know that. Willard, just FYI, Snoopy skates are a massive 20 feet long. If Snoopy decides to go for a skate at Rockefeller Center, I don't think there would be room for anybody else on the ice. You got that right, kid. You know that Woodstock is one of our smallest flyers at only 24 feet. He's still a big bird, though, weighing in at 70 pounds. Snoopy's ears are 20 feet long. His earmuffs are bound to keep him warm at 25 feet in length, and we could use those earmuffs right now. I could use them. Yeah, my, my ears are cold. It's chilly. It doesn't feel that cold, but it's chilly. But you're keeping me warm, Willard. Uh, I'm glad I do something right. <laughs> Okay, my friends, here comes the snail and dragon. So check it out while his tail's a wagon. Macy's dragon. Thanksgiving Day Parade excitement continues with Spider-Man and the Swan Princess after these messages. I don't know about you, but working with Don Pardo and Katie Couric is the greatest thrill of my life. And being here in New York on a beautiful sunny day for this fabulous Macy's Parade. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And Dudley the Dragon's joining us now from Canada. You know, Katie, wherever there's a dragon, you're going to find fair maidens, knights in shining armor, and a castle yawn. Oh. And whenever you see a snail, you hope a dragon's not far behind. We want everybody to check out the magnificent of the Swan Princess Castle Float. Nest Entertainment presents this floating fairyland from the new animated motion picture, The Swan Princess, which I saw last week. It's the terrific. It is terrific. Yeah. The enchanted princess Odette and Prince Derek will sing far longer than forever as they take us to a beautiful land far, far away. I think I see you, Captain. Beauty and glamour and breeding on the map. Enthralling and all unattached. The hoi polloi and those well bred agree each enjoy a royal pedigree. Each possesses a spark, each a remarkable man. Boy, oh boy, these royal highnesses all have pluses, they've no minuses, gaze upon these princesses. That's my kind of show. I like shows. I like shows about people that fall in love and kiss and turn into frogs. But stop a... talking because you have another band to introduce, Willard. Holy oh, exactly. <laughs> Do I love a band? Do I ever? And I'll tell you this. The cards in Florida are sparkling clean because the pride of Port Charlotte, Florida marching band, out of the direction of Jose A. Lopez Jr., wants every vehicle in the state to finance their trip. And here they come.
fantastic. Look up, my friends, as we just check just above the horizon as the Port Charlotte, Florida man leaves. You're about to see a super Spider-Man. Katie, check him out. He is totally something in your life. He's totally awesome, Willard. I'm sure you folks at home are wondering how these balloons are guided along the parade route. And let's show the folks the balloon handlers, Macy's volunteers, the muscle beneath the magic. That's right, Willard. It takes a lot of muscle to handle Spider-Man. Marvel Comics presents a superhero for the seventh year in a row. Spider-Man is buff, Willard. Spider-Man is a buff? No, it's, oh. that's an expression for, well, well-defined, oh. muscular, a hunk of the, burn and love. I gotta learn the language. I wish Cap was had sent some chicken soup over. Something else, catch, I mean, he can catch the criminals with his muscles. He can do it with his spider web, which measures 40 feet long by 36 feet wide. Make his muscle ball soup. He said that over. Stay tuned for more of NBC's live coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Mark Simpson takes us to the sky after these messages. Willard, we know the folks at home love the majesty of the balloons and the theater in the sky, but I get a special kick out of the comedy routines on the, of the clowns on the street level, don't you? Well, I was just checking my watch to see we're a half hour in the parade. Have they renewed your contract for next year? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm going to check. I love them. They're all Macy's employees, and this is their day to really engage in full tilt. I mean, they have a ball. They're fired up and really ready to rock. I think the dragon float, hissing steam, is something to do with all of this. But check out the pieces of cake, and here he is. The action continues with jousts and duels and other contests of might. Once upon a time, dragons rule the earth. And hey, they're ruling Manhattan today. Returning for a second year, this awesome wonder of smoking volcanoes and crackling thunder are a home for Jim, Kurt, and Chris Bartley. Fabio, beware. These fellas are America's sexiest hog farmers. But now they're bringing home the bacon as models on the covers of romance novels. You devil. Did those dragons eat garlic? Is that why they're... Well, they're a real sizzler right now. So take a look at the fangs on these dragons. You haven't seen anything yet. Watch them. I don't they're going after them. It's a hot spot, Willard, but not a bad place to be on a cold day like today. I wish they breathe some of that our way. We could use some dragon breath right now, Katie. Well, Willard, you already have it, but help is on the way. Thanks, Landmark you. Entertainment has furnished the skeleton warriors for my protection against your dragon breath. You're going to need that after those lines. I, I, they look lean and mean, and I mean they're green. That's why I love dragons. Yes, the I do. skeleton warriors may look tough, but they're fighting for the good guys, Willard. You aren't scared of them, are you? Oh, no, not a bit. Not as long as they're on our side. Well, I can guarantee it. Hear that dragon? He's right behind us. Oh, all the way from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and the Lincoln High School marching band under the direction of Aaron Hensler dazzles the crowd in Herald Square, the South Dakota chair. Really informed now. That's Tom Goldberg country, you know, by the way. Yankton, that's his hometown, taking full advantage of their trip to New York City. These kids have been sightseeing to Ellis Island, the Statue of Liberty, attending a Broadway show and a performance at Lincoln Center. They're genuine culture vultures, and we'd love to have them on the Today Show. Absolutely, Willard. We're happy they're here with us today. Oh, 
Cowabunga, dude. Who needs good manners when you're pumped up with 12,724 feet of helium? Everyone, when you're a kid. Once in a while, everybody knows Bart is full of hot air and rubber. The dude weighs in at an inflation weight of 750 pounds. Hey, man, I've lost some weights, you know, but I still can contend. Heavy, man, heavy. Bart is 14 feet of teeth. I like that line. That's a big grin. Willard, did you know that the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is the second largest user of helium in the United States? No, wait a minute. Let me guess. Who could possibly use more hot air? No, not TV anchors. You mean the United States government? That's right, Willard. I had to get that line. All right. Anyway, we're having a ball. You come back and join us. This is only the greatest parade in the world. The weather's fantastic, and we love you. We're going to bowl you off your pins. So don't go away. How a fun to do. Hey, tune to lows and laughs as the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues on NBC. Coming up, circus fun, and Ronald McDonald flies over Manhattan. Hey, we're back with more fun, folks, and I'm off my pins and bowled over with the bowling balls and Macy's clowns. How about you, Katie? Yeah, I love clowns, but let's mention it's 30 degrees out here in New York City. It's warming up quite a bit. Excuse me, but with the wind chill factor, it's about 18 degrees, darling. Oh, there are those clowns. They add so much fun to the parade, don't they, Willard? Look at that. They knock. I think he's got a perfect strike there. And and we got the next best thing to an Elvis sighting right here in front of us. What is it about the King Willard? He's always where the action is. And here, the Star Makers All-Star Dance Team, under the direction of Laura Davis and Lisa Miller, salute the King of Rock and Roll in this stunning presentation furnished by Mike Miller and Associates. These are 400 of our country's best dancers from drill teams around the country. If the King were here, he'd be all shook up. <laughs> Super performance. They were first hand fantastic, weren't they, Willard? Here's everybody's favorite clown, Ronald McDonald. And Willard, yeah. you were the original Ronald McDonald. You got it. I got the suit at home. I'll wear it one day. I'll bring it in wear it. I was a wonderful, wonderful fan of Ronald McDonald. I've always have been the grease paint at Ronald McDonald balloon weighs as much as two linebackers and at 75 feet tall. I mean he could hear the golden arches absolutely going right around his ears. Ronald McDonald balloon is furnished by who else? McDonald. Hey, pretty good. You ain't live that or is that written? He's a little top heavy though. I think he maybe had one too many double cheeseburgers. <laughs> he slipped over, I think, or flipped out. <laughs> McDonald has a bird's eye view of the parade. I love him. Look at him. Look at his shoes. That's what I like of those shoes. He can put out a forest fire with those feet. I wonder if those handlers ever get nervous when they look up. Did you? Have you ever done that? I did that one time last year for just a minute. That is not a pussycat job. No. That is one of the toughest jobs I've ever had. It takes quite a bit of skill, Willard. You know, arriving to put out any bad moves and weak jokes, 
are the clowns who are here with some wonderful hula hoops and the Funny Flutter Betty Fire Brigade. Say that five times and I'll give you a retirement check. Jack of the Boxes. Looks like clowns are popping. Let's check them out. I was with those folks up on 77th Street. In fact, we did a couple of bits with them. They're terrific. They have a ball. You see there's not water in those buckets. It's really paper. They're so. the funny, flutter, steady fire brigade. Try saying that ten times fast, Willard. Is, is that the same thing you just said a minute ago? Or that, anyway, whatever yeah, it they, is, you're dynamite. It was worth repeating. They're very special. circus and the clown came up to throw water on me and I realized it was paper. Great moment in my career. Willard, ushering in the holiday spirit in the center ring is Chloe the Holiday Clown. Hey, would you like to hear a story? Do I have a choice? No. Trust me, you'll kind of like this one. Once upon a time, many centuries ago, out of a tube of grease paint, Chloe the Clown was born. And through the years, she performed in street theater groups all around the world before the sounds of children's laughter led her to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And Chloe's covered a lot of ground in her time. She's racked up a lot of frequent flyer miles. And that's the end of the story. And that was a beautiful story, Willard. Thank you for sharing with us. You lie like a rug. The spectacular Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues after these messages that the stars of Sesame Street and the summer music games all come in. That is a nice looking hat with a blue brim. Well, thank you very much, Willard. I like yours as well. Thank you. Well, you will switch at the end like we always do, all right? Hey, here are the summer music games all star drum and doom core under the direction of Tony DiCarlo. The members are comprised of kids from all around the country. They are terrific. Listen. ago, I think maybe a week of rehearsal, and all over the country, these kids are, you know, different places. Just terrific. Look up, up, Katie, Katie. Look. There's our buddy Big Bird with his alphabet blocks. Look at him. There he is, Willard. You know, Big Bird never misses an opportunity to teach kids their letters. Children's Television Workshop furnished our fine feathered friends, and he's making a big statement weighing in at 450 pounds. Hey, 
this is Big Bird's sixth appearance in the parade. Don't you think he's got a big hand? I mean, look at the size of that head. Just his hat size, 58 feet around. That's a big head. Our pals from Sesame Street are celebrating their 25th birthday on the brand new float sponsored by Applause. Our friends encourage kids to read and write. Big Bird, Zoe, Elmo, they all need those giant pencils. The standard size just won't do for their king size imaginations. That's for sure, Willard. Hey kids, sing along with the Muppets and the cast of Sesame Street as they perform Walking Proud. Spectacular Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues live on NBC with an all-star salute to the golden age of Hollywood. Hey, it's time for a little flag-waving with American patriots Ben Franklin and George Washington. Ben Franklin selected the turkey, you know, as our national bird. And today, he's an excellent company with George Washington, our first president and inspiration for the best cherry cobbler in the world. You would be thinking desserts, Willard. The All-American Fund continues with the Hollywood Canteen, Willard. Ameri American mo movie classics has this wonderful float on st in store for us today when the Glenn Miller Orchestra filled the air with a big band sound and the silver screen was filled with beautiful stars, including our special guest today, Miss Dorothy L'Amour. I talked to her uptown and she is lovely. I got a kiss. I've got to kiss the wrong queen. All right. Miss L'Amour is joined by AMC host Bob Dorian and Nick Clooney and 25 USO volunteers. They're serenaded by the U.S. Air Force Airmen of Note. All active servicemen and women who blend their musical talents for a special remembrance of our veterans. And look, Willard, here are the Azalea Trail Maids. Since 1929, 50 senior high school girls from Mobile, Alabama have donned their pastel hoop skirts and sashayed down the Azalea Trail. They're beautiful, and in case you missed it, the Airmen of Note, Pete from Washington, D.C., one of the greatest service groups ever to sing in this country. They were sensational. You hear them in the background now. And I love that big band sound. Oh, that the Air Force band, on, on, they're passing us right in the background now, and you can... They're terrific. Incidentally, mention the Long Island Banjo Society. One of these days, I want to learn to play the banjo. Picking and grinning through the streets of New York, filling the avenue with the country twang. I love that music. One, two, three, four. Yoke, dugga, dugga, dugga.
should mention that that's not a train because the train's already passed us by. That's Garfield. That's a p -p 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 pussy cat. A big pussy cat. Everybody loves the wise-cracking lasagna snarfing fat cat from Paws Incorporated. This big cabbie definitely has nine lives, Willard. This is his ninth appearance in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And with all the statistics we quote on this program, I've got to tell you that Garfield uses two million pounds of kitty litter every week. <laughs> Check out that fabulous band. All right, Willard, we've got the championship Wyoming High School All-State Marching Band under the direction of Dave Bellis. I know him. Let's listen. Nice man. That's they're, your Ten Sleep. I bought a pair of shoes there with. I got some good friends from Ten Sleep. They're Norway. really terrific, uh, terrific group. They made a, they raise money doing human bowling, and that's how they raised all their money <laughs> to come here to New York City and be part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Of course, there are 13 yeah. marching bands and all, and they're all terrific, aren't they? Oh boy, they're terrific. They are terrific. I say that of all the things, the floats and the balloons and everything else, the bands are still the winners. Absolutely. They're right behind me now. Can you see them? I, I sure we can. We sure can hear them. That's pretty country up there. You know, we should explain what the human bowling is probably, Willard. Human bowling? What do you do? Do you mean? Yeah, they put suitcases around their waist, and then they try to knock each other down. It sounds like a good time. I think they should try a bake sale next time. That's how I got my job at NBC and the Weatherman.
for continuous coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with NBC's own Katie Couric and Willard Scott and the World Wrestling Federation's new generation of superstars. Willard, you know, the folks at Macy's have outdone themselves this year, haven't they? What a spectacle. I mean, it's fantastic. There's no parade in the world that compares. I agree with that. It's the longest-running show on Broadway. Do you know that? 68 years, everybody works hard to put this parade together. As far as I'm concerned, this city is topped, and this is the top of the city. Willard, get ready for the Universal Cheer and Dance Association under the direction of Mike Miller. These young women represent the top cheerleaders from around the country. Here's a number that's a real traffic stopper. <laughs> Takes a big guy to appreciate the Big Apple, and we got a foot full for the World Wrestling Federation's new generation superstars, featuring Paul Bearer, <laughs> The Undertaker, Razor Ramon, Lex Luger, British Bulldog, Doink, and Dink, and New York City Daily News columnist, The Slammer. The floats furnished for the fine folks at Guess Where? The New York Daily News. I didn't know you could read from here. Fantastic. Well, we're not fighting crime the New York City Police Band. They're making beautiful music. They are indeed, Willard. Sergeant Tony Giorgio leads the band with members representing all five boroughs of New York City. Each one better than the last. Tune in with us now for the woodwinds, the brass percussion of our men and women in blue. The finest in the city of New York, the best in America.
Coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues after these messages with Blossom star Joey Lawrence, Grammy-winning pop star Natalie Cole, and balloon floor, including Flipper, the big red dog. Welcome back. The majesty of life under the sea is celebrated in this balloon making its debut in the parade. Joey Lawrence from NBC's Blossom joins his brothers Matthew and Andy as they perform Under the Sea. It's always greener in somebody else's lake. Oh, you dream about growing up there, but that is a big mistake. I just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea. Down where it's wetter, take it from me Up on the shore they work for day Out in the sun they slave away While we do open, full time to floating under the sea Down here all the fish is happy As off through the waves they roll The fish on the land ain't happy They're sad cause they in the pool But fish in the bowl is lucky I'm Laying for a worse day One day when the boss gets hungry And guess who's gonna be on the plane Under the sea Under the sea Nobody beat us, fire yes, us and eat us in pretty sea. We want the land for loves to cook. Under the sea we are the hook. We got no troubles, life is a bubble under the sea. Everybody loves that act. I mean, Little Mermaid music. And here comes the Somerville Green Wave Band from Somerville High School in South Carolina on the direction of Barney Lyles. Just to let you know how determined these kids are, even when the stadium lights blew out during halftime, the band continued their routine in pitch darkness. At least they think they did. You got a standing ovation. Everybody went wild. That's what's going up is always in the pink. He, this is the Pink Panther's seventh appearance in the parade, Willard. He's hanging on to that inner tube, I mean. It's Victor Cusso can find this guy anywhere. He's 72 feet tall and 40 feet long. It takes 13,000 cubic feet of helium to keep this guy afloat, Willard. Look at that shot. That's fabulous. That is terrific. Look at that. Too bad the weather couldn't accommodate the Pink Panther today, huh, Willard? He'd make a great weatherman, wouldn't he? A weather panther. I'm glad he put a scarf around his neck. Very good idea. He'd be fringing his little panther ears. Look at that tail. That's a long tail. 
NBC's telecast of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is sponsored in part by AT&T. We help put your world within reach. And by Cotton Incorporated for America's cotton producers. Cotton, the fabric of our lives. Coming up, Miss America 1995, Heather Whitestone, and Olympian Jackie Joyner Percy, as NBC's live coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues. I think they must have escaped from the set of ER, Willard, but we've got a group of funny clowns. I think maybe we need one of them to come up here to treat us for, for hypothermia. What do you think? I haven't had hypothermia since I was a kid. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Thank Here's you. a wonderful new flight of fancy float sponsored by Continental Airlines. On board is Miss America 1995, Heather Whitestone. She's the 75th anniversary Miss America, and her platform, Anything is Possible, is inspiring kids everywhere. Joining her is the sign language group under the direction of Kelly Caruso, children around the world, who will sign with Miss America to a song recorded by Sandy Patty. Hey, that's one of the nicest and really almost very inspiring. I almost got tears in my eyes. I know. Miss that's America beautiful. 1995, oh. Heather Whitestone. Aren't those kids beautiful as well, and the Willard? the kids so lovely. That, that was such a beautiful... I said all the years I've done this, I've never seen a float that had more, you know... That's right. Sparkle and made my... The kids dressed yeah. up in costumes from yeah. all around the world. Yeah. That was a nice touch, wasn't and it? she is so lovely. And, of course, her, her coronation has meant so much to the deaf community. Right. So yeah. our hats off to her. Yep. Heather. Yucka, yucka. <laughs> Hey, this next group represents the best of high school and college band members from the great state of Georgia, Jimmy Carter country. They march for President Clinton's inaugural parade today. They're going to perform a selection called Eternal Quest by composer Jay Dawson, written especially for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade from Atlanta, Georgia. Under the direction of Bucky Johnson, here's the Atlanta Olympic Band.
the fabulous Olympian Jackie Joyner Kersey, proudly carrying the Olympic flag. Go, Jackie. Folks, say hello to our friend Izzy. He's up there. He's on his way. He's the official mascot of the 1996 Olympics, which of course will be held in Atlanta, Georgia. And you can bet NBC TV will be there. He's sponsored by the Atlanta Committee for Olympic Games. He stands at a championship 65 feet high, carrying a 28-foot Olympic torch. I've had a torch for you for 20 years. Izzy's here to make a special announcement, my friends. The closely guarded date of when Olympic tickets go on sale is about to be revealed. Milton DeLug, would you give us a drum roll, sir? And the official date of sales is May 1st, 1995. You heard it first right here on the... Uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Mark your calendars and let the games begin. Hallelujah. Here comes who's that under? That's our friend the Olympia. And the incomparable Judy Collins. Willard, right? It's, a whopping 32 degrees. It's downright hot. 32, and it's about maybe 12 uh, wind chill effect. Oh, good. Now, here, here comes, comes our, our lighthearted... Oh, sorry. Your, <laughs> here comes our lighthearted salute to America's heartland, Willard. Now, my part. The farmers <laughs> are lots to crow about. That's my favorite group. Look at the wagon filled with American-grown produce. I'd say this crop is a real winner. It sure is, Willard. Here's the magnificent cornucopia float filled with a bountiful harvest of traditional Thanksgiving abundance. This cornucopia is sponsored by American Express, once again waging their charge against hunger campaign fight in the United States. Great year they've had in the Midwest, the best corn and wheat crop in years. Judy Collins celebrating the release of her new holiday CD supporting this message of love. The gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we are in the place just right, twill be in the valley of love and delight. When true. Stopping routines that they performed at halftime for the Jets and the Giants and appeared at the Tony Awards and the salute of the late great music man Robert Preston.
today? That's because I'm a mouse in the house. <laughs> Dog of Shane. The cat in the hat is a smart feline indeed. And he's got an umbrella in case of rain. Plenty of Dr. Seuss books to run any store. The cat's Susie and the cat captain keeps him flying high, as you see. And his hat doesn't hurt either. Well, we should mention the late Dr. Seuss's widow, Mrs. Audrey Geisel, worked hard to see this balloon come to life. She couldn't be with us today, but we wanted to say happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We love you, Audrey, and sorry you're not here next year. Or we'll come to your house. <laughs> this is an amazing balloon, Willard. The Macy's these artists created a flying scene, an actual sketch in the sky. Looks to me like that the cat in the hat flew right off the pages and into the air. That's right, Willard. I wonder how he feels about green eggs and ham on Turkey Day. I think I'll let that one pass by. Mm. The spectacular Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade live on NBC will return with a holiday performance by Grammy winner Natalie Cole. Welcome back to the Cats with the Hats. That's us, huh? What a team. <laughs> Kitty Kirk and I are just here with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and thought you would drop it and join us. That's right, and I can feel the holiday season, Willard, right around the corner. Gotcha. Katie, take a gander at the confection collection of Macy's Parade Studios whipped up for us. I don't know what to eat first. Take a look. Sugar cookies, perhaps? The donuts or the peppermint stick? It all looks very fattening, Willard, and I thought you were on a diet. I don't think so today. I can dream if I want. Dunkin' Donuts have got enough number for us this time, the Tasty Float Bakes of Holiday Treats with NBC stars Liz Torres of the John Lauricette Show. That is my favorite show, by the way. All the way from the North Pole, scrumptious, good stuff. That's Fred the Baker. Sing hilly ho, a word must go, let's ring in the season of cheer. It's time to be merry and never contrary, the spirit of Christmas is here. from Dunkin' Donuts. What does he say? It's time to make the donuts. <laughs> oh, that's a great, that's a new flow to first time ever on the show. First time after 68 years. We're still in business. Now. And you yes. know what? Our favorite balloon is coming up. Walter Lance, with one of my idols of all time, and he's sent his friend over today. That's right. Now, this is Woody's 13th parade appearance, Willard. He's a Walter Lance creation, as you said. He's sponsored by Universal City Studios, and he's 75 feet tall by 45 feet wide. And Willard, a parade wouldn't be complete without your Woody the Woodpecker. I love you, Liz. Woody the Woodpecker. <laughs> in impersonation. Go ahead, Willard. And all of the handlers are dressed like, and so we have a gaggle or a... Pride of woodpeckers, I guess. <laughs> I think a gaggle is right. I saw Liz. Pride of lions. I saw Liz Torres. I couldn't resist. I had to give her a hug. Excuse me. I mean, you weren't paying attention. You were too busy partying with Liz. <laughs> 
he's such a legend, you know. I, and we had the, the, the Lances here about four or five years ago in the crowd. Remember, they used to always come and visit and see the parade. And he's making one, that dangerous turn right beside us, Willard. Yeah, he's right. He's, he's right here. Opelika, Alabama, all the way from Alabama. The Opelika High School Spirit of the South marching band out of the April direction of Flagstaff. Jeff Hudson and all the gang. Check it out. Oh, 
of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues with Connie Stevens and daughters Patricia Lee Fisher and Julie Fisher, star of the hit series Ellen, coming up after these messages. Welcome back, everybody. I can't think of a better way to travel down the parade route than on an old-fashioned Christmas rocking horse. How about you, Willard? I'm a rocking horse man myself, Jenny. We're going home for the holidays on this float, sponsored by Wendy's, which celebrates the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption. Dave himself is on board with his grandkids. Rocking around the Christmas tree is lovely Connie Stevens and her daughters, Trisha Lee Fisher and Jolie Fisher, stars of the hit series, Ellen. Looking good. Willard Scholastic Incorporated furnished Clifford the Big Red Dog, a vision in jolly holiday red. Clifford is six stories high. That's one tall dog. Clifford is the only balloon built to scale, ask any five-year-old. Clifford is his biggest basis, the world's largest and best, most beautiful story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His smile is a dazzling 14 feet long, Willard. Oh, Wendy, I just saw my friend from Wendy. And look out when he, when he wags his 18-foot tail, baby. Clifford has been a favorite of kids everywhere for 30 years. Dave Thomas is just passing by. Send us a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Don't tell us you love us. Show us. You know, except for West Coast viewers, following our grand finale here in Herald Square, NBC Sports presents a great NFL matchup. Buffalo. I got to be honest, next to the Redskins, my favorite team. Anyway, they're versus Detroit. That's a nice team, too. Anyway, kick off right after our parade coverage. All right, what a great way to spend Turkey Day, huh, Willard? The holiday season officially begins as NBC brings you the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade finale starring Santa Claus, live from Herald Square in New York City, coming up after these messages. Willard, I'm stand excited. by. I'm Here's the Madisonville North Hopkins High School Band from Madisonville, Kentucky, under the direction of Jim Wright. That means Santa Claus is coming soon. That's right. Oh, boy.
that day terrific into the springs of old Tannenbaum old Christmas tree. Guess what they're clearing the streets for? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. The man for whom this whole thing was designed 68 years ago. You better watch out. You better not shout and cry. Santa Claus has arrived. He's blowing at Herald Square like a nor'easter. Look at that pageantry. It's a spectacle to behold. What a great looking Santa, huh, Willard? The 1994 holiday season has officially begun. Oh, boy. Happy Thanksgiving. We love you. Really amazing. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. I think the least we could do is change hats. What do you think? I think we should do that, Willard. It's, it's kind of a tradition with us. So. Oh, look at your hair. It's cute. <laughs> it's probably sticking out all over the place. All right, look I at love. Santa. The crowds are going wild for him. Thanksgiving Day Parade. And of course, this is what the parade is all about, children. And it's so wonderful to look at the kids and see the sparkle in their eyes oh boy, they once they get a load of that man in the big red suit. It's hard to believe two hours ago, it's gone by like 60, we started out at 77th Street, came down two and a half miles, and here we are with all the floats, the balloons, the platoons, the bands, the cheerleaders. It's all happened here on NBC again, the 68th year for this American tradition. And look how Santa is traveling in high style. Those reindeers are absolutely beautiful, aren't they, Willard? I love reindeer. Yeah, we, had, we had some on the show. Remember last week when the camel ate my flower? <laughs> we had a reindeer up from Radio City Music Hall, which is a spectacular show when you're in New York. And thanks again to everybody here. The good mayor was on the show with us this morning, and the police department and the, the employees of Macy's who do so much throw themselves into this. I mean, they love it. I don't think we can emphasize nope. enough, Willard, just how hard everybody behind the scenes and in the parade the work to make this such a, an incredible event every single year. It's a super New York happening. This is what this city's all about. It's full of love and excitement, and God bless them all. NBC's telecast of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade has been sponsored in part by Cotton Incorporated for America's cotton producers. Cotton, the fabric of our lives. And by Wendy's. After 25 years, quality is still our recipe. Accommodations for NBC guests furnished by the Waldorf Astoria, completely restored to its original Art Deco grandeur. The Waldorf Astoria, there's only one. 